All right, so today we're gonna to take a closer look at loop rate. When I mean that, I mean pit loop rate, gyro loop rate, and then also D-shot loop rate. We're gonna do a couple of flights with big variety in those, and let's see if we can tell any difference in the HD and black box logs to see if loop rate and chasing the rabbit really matters. This is gonna be at 8K. Sampling, pid loop, and logging rate. So yeah, we're gonna check this out. I am going to have to be pretty friggin' lickety split and get in my flight mood. Because 8K ain't gonna take very long to fill up the log. So this is with 4K, PID loop, logging rate, and also a D-Shot 300. Just uh, again trying to do a bunch of prop wash moves. So supposedly, I mean, that's what we would say is better with higher loop rates. Majorly toasted. Uh, 3.6 and a couple drops here. 
Yeah. And bring it back in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bunch of trees, bunch of trees, bunch of trees. Ah! Ah, dang it. Didn't hit the bench. Okay, so yeah, anything below 2K on your loop rate will disable the dynamic notch. So be aware, homie. Don't go below 2K if you want the dynamic notch. Just a bunch of, again, prop wash moves here. That's about all I can get on this battery. 0.2. Not good. Let's bring it in nice. Nice. Alright, so what did you think? It's like most things. But you half the comments down below says they can clearly see a difference between them and the other half says they can't notice any difference between them at all. Now if you're not sure, I encourage you to go back through and keep your focus on the traces. And when you're watching those traces go by as you're going into the different moves, what we're looking at here is this is the stick command. So you can see here I'm not really moving the sticks, but the quad is oscillating back and forth. That's prop wash. And you can see this is the roll access, pitch access, yaw access. And then, you know, like again, this is an 8K, 8K all the way through. So it's 8K sampling, 8K pid loop, and then D shot 600, and then 8K logging. This is 2K. So it's 8K sampling again because it's locked uh, in Betaflight 4.3 just like it was in 4.2 at 8k sampling but then a 2k pid loop uh, d shot 150 and then 2k logging rate and you can see in this case in this move the deviations were more uh, for you know this in 8k than this one was in 2k so it, it really depends on the moves and 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 that's why i did a number of those to kind of get an aggregate Meaning on this set of specific moves, now you can see 8K is less and 2K is more. So again, it really is dependent on what's going on with the quad. Uh, also, it was a pretty windy day. Uh, so, you know, what kind of wind gusts are happening at the exact same time, things of that nature. One thing I am sure about 2K or 8K sampling, there's plenty of samples to sample prop wash. And again, if we look at this on the left here is the 8K and then on the right here is the 2K. So in here, if we hold down the Alt key and then hit the arrow key and you can look down here at these samples right down here and you can see we can actually sample through this one sample at a time. So that's at 8K rate and you can say like, I don't even see it moving. And it's like, yeah, that's because that's how many samples it's taking along the way just for this little bit of movement uh, for this prop wash. So prop wash happens really quick. And you can see that's counting up just one sample at a time. Now keep in mind, if you do 
you know, 8K gyro and PID loop rate, but then you do 2K logging rate, well then you're not gonna see, you know, it's gonna skip um, a bunch of samples every time. You'll see these numbers not just go up by one, they'll go up by like two, four, six, eight, or four, eight, 12, things of that nature. Depends what your sampling rate is for logging. But you can see we got plenty of samples. So if I zoom in here to like a thousand percent, you can see how many samples, again, as I'm clicking through this, that we're getting of that prop wash along the way. Again, that's 8K, so there's a lot. So you really, you don't need anything higher than 8K to accurately measure uh, prop wash motion. And you can see I haven't even gotten to one oscillation yet, and as I'm talking here, I'm continuing to uptick this, you know, one sample at a time. Now, conversely, let's go take a look at 2K. So again, I can, toggle this up one sample at a time here. And here you may be able to see the motion of the black box go past a little bit more. Um, but you can still see, I got plenty of samples here uh, of this prop wash oscillation for the quad to react to. And you're just going into a thousand. Yeah, obviously here it's jumping forward four times faster uh, since it's eight to 2K, but you still got plenty of samples of the motion at a 2K PID loop and logging rate. Now, if you wanna see a little bit more in-depth analysis of what I'm seeing in the logs and differentiation between the 8K versus the 2K, check out the Patreon. I'm gonna have a releasing video at the same time as this one where we take a little bit closer look at this and look at it in the aggregate of averaging and, and see what we think is a little bit better there. But for now, this will do it for this video. Thanks everybody, and I hope this helps.